हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एल पी पी ग्राफिकल मेथड नाउ दिस टाइम आई हैव ब्रॉट वन एग्जांपल व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स नेगेटिव साइंस और यू कैन से नेगेटिव साइंस कंस्ट्रेंट्स राइट जनरली माय स्टूडेंट्स दे फेस प्रॉब्लम व्हेन दे हैव टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ्स ऑफ द नेगेटिव इक्वेशंस so i gave it a thought and uh, decided to make a video on that uh, on this uh, type of the questions all right so uh, let's see now this is the question with you minimize z is equals to minus x1 plus 2x2 minus x1 plus 3x2 is less than equal to 10 x1 plus x2 is less than equal to 6 x1 minus x2 is greater than less than equal to 2 and the last one is your non negativity constraint so <clears throat> till the step of drawing the graph everything is going to be same right for example uh, let's take first equation x minus x1 plus 3x2 is less than equal to 10 now uh, to draw a graph we need two points or two coordinates for a line right and that is what we are going to do like first of all i'll assume that let x1 is 0 now if my x1 is 0 so what will be my x2 that is 0 plus 3 x2 is equal to 10 right so x2 is 10 by 3 right it we can say that it is approximately equal to 3.33 fine now next is now i'll assume x2 is 0 if my x2 is 0 then x1 is going to be minus 10 right so for this equation i have got two coordinates 0 comma 10 by 3 and minus 10 comma 0 these are the two coordinates for this equation now let's take the second equation x1 plus x2 is equal to 6 now this is very simple if i take x1 0 my x2 is going to be 6 if x2 is 0 then my x1 is going to be 6 all right then third equation x1 minus x2 is equal to 2 all right now if i say x1 is 0 i assume x1 is 0 so x2 is going to be what is going to be x2 minus 2 right and if x2 is 0 to x1 is going to be 2 all right now these are the coordinates of uh, the three equations we have right now we have to draw the graph right please bear with me i am going to draw a free hand graph right so the points the lines they may be they may not be straight lines right so this is my 0 on this side minus 1 this side minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 and this is minus 10 and on this side i can say this is minus x1 and on this side i have 1 2 3 4 and this side it is 5 and it is 6 and this is x2 and this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 and on this side i have minus x2 this side it is minus x2 right and on this side i have x1 which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 all right now let's take the first equation wherein i had the points x1 is 0 and x2 is 3.33 x1 is 0 and x2 is 3.33 so here is my point right so this is 0 comma 10 by 3 second is minus 10 x1 is minus 10 and my x2 is 0 right so this is like this right now if i join these two points i'll get the line of i'll get the line like this right so this is my line of the now i can write here this is the 
लाइन ऑफ इक्वेशन माइनस एक्स वन प्लस थ्री एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू टेन फाइन नाउ द इन अदर वन इज जीरो कॉमा सिक्स एंड सिक्स कॉमा जीरो दिस इज जीरो कॉमा सिक्स एंड दिस इज सिक्स कॉमा जीरो एंड इफ आई जॉइन दीज टू पॉइंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू गेट अ लाइन लाइक दिस सो दिस इज x1 वन प्लस एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स लास्ट वन इज जीरो कॉमा माइनस टू एक्स टू इज माइनस टू सो दिस इज जीरो कॉमा माइनस टू एंड एक्स वन इज टू दैट इज टू कॉमा जीरो नाउ इफ आई जॉइन दीज टू पॉइंट्स आई विल हैव लाइक दिस फाइन नाउ दीज आर द थ्री लाइन्स ऑफ माई ग्राफ ऑफ माई क्वेश्चन these were the three equations with me all right now now comes the part wherein we have to decide the feasible area right but we have one constraint this one which says that x1 and x2 they cannot be negative right it says that x1 and x2 they should be non negative that means that the lines which are in the negative area we are going to extend them in the first quadrant like this right and like this fine and then what we have to do now we have to consider the area in the first quadrant only the feasible area lies in the first quadrant due to the non negativity constraint fine now let's see how to find out the feasible area write down this equation minus x1 Plus three x two is less than ten. This is what is the equation now. Now uh, this is uh, you can say this is a kind of a method to find out the feasible area in case you have negative signs, right? For example, if I say.